Warning, in this video I talk about hydrogen. This seems to be a trigger word for some EV drivers, so if this is you, please don't watch this video. Joking aside, I can see that some EV drivers get worked up uh, when they hear about hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Kind of reminds me of the way that combustion engine drivers are, are sometimes versus battery electric vehicle owners or drivers or technology. So I just think we need to be conscious of that as to how we're having this conversation. First off, I'm well aware of the need for green hydrogen. What I mean by that is hydrogen made with excess renewable energy uh, when the green grid doesn't need it. I'm also aware there are other ways that we could store this excess uh, renewable energy. It could be hydro pumped. It could be the likes of uh, batteries. It could be uh, flywheel storage. So green hydrogen production is one of the options and potential solutions available. The other colors available are turquoise hydrogen, gray hydrogen, blue hydrogen, et cetera, et cetera, even pink hydrogen, which is made from nuclear power. So um, I'm interested in finding out more about this. And this is my first journey into the hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. I'm also aware that there are no refueling stations here in Ireland, in Ireland for hydrogen at the moment. There are plans, but whether they go ahead or not, um, in the UK, they seem to be closing some down. In Germany and other countries, they seem to be closing down certain types of hydrogen fuel cell uh, refueling stations or hydrogen refueling stations. Um, also, how many models are available to um, make this commercially viable or does it all have to be subsidized? I know that Hyundai have the Nexo. I know that Toyota have the Mirai. Um, whether BMW put this iX5 into production, it's only a pilot at the moment. I don't have a price on the actual cost of this if it was to retail. So uh, hopefully you enjoy my video around the BMW hydrogen fuel cell electric ve vehicle, the iX5. Uh, make sure you jump into the comments. Uh, I may even host a power hour on my channel this week if you're watching this on the week uh, beginning of March of 2023, but otherwise enjoy the video. Here we are just outside of Antwerp in Belgium, and as you can see, it is a hydrogen BMW iX5. Stylistically, very similar to the standard BMW iX, or sorry, the X5, but what you will see is you'll see some blue highlights around the front. You will see blue fins, blue in the headlights. I really like these alloy wheels, uh, 22 inch, with again, aero and efficiency being important in it, but pretty much everything else is the same. Um, alloy wheels as we talked about and then around the rear utilizing the same BMW X5 you have this beautiful anodized blue on the back what we're going to do now is the styling is not really the main point of this car it is the drivetrain the hydrogen fuel tanks etc and how that's all set up so what we're going to do is transport ourselves to the port of Antwerp uh, and look at the inside of the actual BMW iX5 hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle So externally, the BMW iX5 hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle, I don't think it's gonna have that badge on the back, is very similar aesthetically to the regular iX5, or sorry, the regular X5, but internally, that's where the difference is, and that's why we've come inside to have a look at this full proper scale model, and outside of the chassis, I think it looks a lot bigger, but this has, you can see these Perspex wheels as to where the wheels and the axle will be on the BMW iX5. At the front, we've got our fuel cell stack, and internally, those fuel cells are that collaboration between Toyota and BMW. That collaboration has been going on since about 2013, so it's 10 years on, and they're working together on this technology. Everything outside of those fuel cells within the stack and the converter, etc., are all done in-house at BMW. So what we have here is the combination of the hydrogen, and as you're driving through the oxygen, converting that into electricity. Moving it down then, we can have a look to see where we have that hydrogen set up. In this T section, we've got a 4 kg cylinder, cylinder. It is carbon fiber reinforced plastic. They've crashed it, they've tested it. Uh, very secure. There is uh, release, ga release valves as well if it is involved in an accident where there may be fire. This is a 4 kg, this is a 2 kg. The filling tank is here. It is 700 bar pressure takes about, for every kg, it takes about a minute. So you're filling it between four and five minutes range. You're looking at about a 500 kilometer range. 
cost. We've seen different prices today. We did a filling station tour and that was at 17.99 kg per 17.99 euro per kg, but we believe that's blue hydrogen. Green hydrogen we're hearing in Belgium is 10 kg at the moment. So you're looking for a range of about 500 kilometers for about 50 euros, probably similar to petrol and diesel, depending on what country you're in. Then moving back along, power-wise, we've got 125 kilowatts worth of power in the fuel cell stack. And then we have 175, 170, giving a total of 295 kilowatts worth of power. You have your e-motor, e-machine in underneath, and that's the same one from the BMW iX. You have a two kilowatt hour battery that helps you with acceleration, peak power, whenever you need that extra power. So the combination of all this comes together. And the reason that I came here to film it is because of that electric vehicle side of things. And this is that fuel cell electric vehicle. In Ireland, we haven't got any fueling stations yet, but a lot of my audiences are from around the world. And I think a lot of people are going to be interested in this technology, whether you want to go longer distances, whether you want to fill up faster, whether you want the ability of being able to operate in a colder climate, it's not going to affect it. Heating of the cabin is done as a byproduct of that uh, process of converting that hydrogen into energy. Um, efficiency of it, we're, we're hearing around about 60% efficient. As always, I'm a proponent of green hydrogen and making sure that we're using that as much as possible. And today we're hearing about the production of hydrogen and that renewable energy side of things. But that's the technology. That's what's in underneath. What we're going to do now is take it out for a drive and feel that driving experience of the BMW iX5. One of the reasons we were in the port of Antwerp is right beside the Port Authority building is the CMB Tech hydrogen filling station. And this is where they actually fill up the cars, but also boats buses lorries buses and lorries are coming in at a 350 bar pressure and passenger cars like this one are coming in at a 700 bar pressure they have an electrolyzer on site so they're actually producing their own hydrogen very self-sufficient now whether that's green hydrogen or not is an, is another question um but we yeah, have as i said already i'm a proponent of that uh, green hydrogen so very similar to a fuel station setup uh, the efficiency that we can see here is 1.2 kilograms worth of hydrogen per 100 kilometers. So with that six kilogram uh, setup, that T shape, the four and the two kilograms, it was um, coming in around the 500 kilometer range. Driving it, um, not, no great shakes here. Uh, Seth Moss on Twitter replied to me, spoiler, it drives like an electric car and it is because it is a fuel cell electric vehicle. So what they have is they have uh, the same regenerative braking setup as the i4 and the iX. They even have the hand zimmer sound when you're driving along. Very smooth, really nice to drive like all EVs and just interesting to do it in a BMW X5 that they've converted. I wasn't behind another hydrogen iX5 on this trip, but I was speaking to uh, my travel colleague Geraldine Herbert and she was saying she was behind them and she could see the water coming out of the tailpipes just dripping out. So that is the only emission that comes from the tailpipe of a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Hopefully you've enjoyed my look around the BMW iX5. As mentioned, I'm going to probably do a power hour this week. So if you're interested in continuing this conversation, jump into the comments, subscribe to the channel, but also remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.